Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Mr. Ferguson again. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, thank you for stopping by and checking in. I just wanted to do an update. It's been now um, over two weeks since I've planted my new uh, GCI turf type tall fescue seed and uh, things are looking really good and so good I was like hey I'm gonna do another video and up upload uh, progress of uh, what the yard is looking like the good the bad there is some bad with it but uh, but things are coming along we just had a nice good uh, day and a half a long rain here and temperatures here in Central North Carolina are right around 65 degrees so it's feeling very comfortable outside which is perfect for growing grass um, so but things are looking good so I'm not gonna walk out in the yard uh, obviously I've been uh, getting on to my kids a lot about uh, playing in the yard and stuff we're trying not to trample the the new grass and uh, just trying to stay off of it as much as I can besides when uh, watering which I've done a lot of um, but um, here in the next uh, couple weeks um, I'll be back out there in it again um, to apply some carbon X start which is a uh, fertilizer you can find on the GCI Academy website from Pete um, this is a starter fert I don't know the analysis off the top of my head but it's uh, instead of Melorganite we're gonna be doing carbon X start which is supposed to be a really good fertilizer it prices around 69 bucks uh, with tax and uh, it's a, I believe it covers 20,000 square foot and it's a 50 pound bag. So uh, the recommendation from Lawn Care Nut, according to the, his uh, cool season plan, which I've been following, is to uh, apply um, fertilizer about four weeks after seeding. So that'll be coming up next week at some point. Um, we'll go ahead and get that on the ground and that should make it even greener but um, definitely have the greenest yard here in the neighborhood which i'm proud of and been getting some compliments of uh, much improvement which is a good thing which is what we were going for so the next real thing i'm going to be interested in seeing is poa because we're getting close to those temperatures dropping down and poa starting to spring up so that'll be the next thing to watch but i'll quit yapping uh, thank you again for stopping by and let's take a look at uh what things are looking like all right guys so we are on the back porch and uh this is an area where it stays kind of wet here it's kind of in the shade most of the time and the grass really jumped up here first this is one of the areas where it really got up it's getting so tall now that it's actually starting to lay down um, but as you can see i'm trying to get out of the sun a little bit but it is gorgeous now there are spots right over here where i had some crabgrass when it was bare out here and there's some shady area here that is still not coming in quite like I'd like to, but we'll see if it fills in nicely. But it's looking really, really good. And, and obviously it looks a lot better in person. Um, the grass is just that fertilizer, nitrogen rich green color. And uh, it's just a gorgeous to the touch, uh, just beautiful grass. Uh, so this is GCI, turf type tall fescue grass and it's again it's just gorgeous we do have a little bit of weeds trying to pop up uh, maybe some creeping charling and stuff i don't know if i see it much over there a little bit but it's it's coming in nice and like i said i when i aerated i did three hours worth of aerating on my property um so it got aerated real well but um it's uh also this was 50 pounds of gci seed plus some older 25 pounds of seed so i put down a ton of seed onto this lawn and uh, it's definitely thick in this area, really nice. Now, like I mentioned, the, the, the bad parts are, and I'll see if I can get over as much as I can without the shadows, but back here towards my shed, there is a little bit of grass growing right here, but it's definitely not as thick. And I don't know if it's because it doesn't get the sunlight that it does out here in the other part of the yard, but this part is being slow to take off. Now, I see if I can zoom in some, but over here, you can see where it's starting to come up a little bit in the holes where I aerated. Um, and there is some parts here that is trying to come up, but it's struggling over here and it could be because of leaves and I have been keeping on top of trying to keep the leaves out, but obviously it comes back. But everywhere where there's trees and over here on this bank, um, you know, it's, it's kind of struggling a little bit, but there is some grass trying to grow there. So hopefully it hangs on, develops the roots and uh, will look good in the spring, but we'll see. We may have to rework that. Let me zoom back out and come back over here. We do have some bare spots over here. And here's that crabgrass I talked about that is finally starting to die away um, from the summer. So there is grass, as you can see. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. There is fescue growing right in between that stuff. So when it dies away, it should get 
you know, filled in with the fescue, but we'll see what happens. This may be another area where I got to repair um, here coming up in the spring, uh, maybe if not before, if we do have time, but it's looking good. So this area, obviously, I'm, I want to be a perfectionist. I can't complain. Um, the grass is gorgeous. Um, it looks really good. Things are going well, but again, when I see bare areas, it does kind of bug me. The play set with the kids over there where they play at, I'm not too concerned about that area. I like some more here. And obviously over here on this side, it's coming in real nice over here. But this area by the tree line, again, for some reason, it's slower to want to come up in these spots. Um, but it's looking good. I can't complain. And much better and improved than what it was before. So again, we'll have to see if POA tries to pop up inside this grass. Um, I may do another application of tenacity before we hit those temperatures. I've done one. If you um, didn't watch my last video, I did do a uh, tenacity mix with some RGS, which is why over here, if we look, you can tell that we've got some white um, of, of the chlorophyll of this new grass. It did not hurt the grass. Um, tenacity will not kill your grass, but it will discolor it sometimes. So that's what we're seeing over here with some of the new grass being a little bit white tip there. So that's pretty much the backyard. Um, let's walk around here real fast and I will show you the side yard. And let me get out of the shadow out of the sun here. So this side also obviously real lush and thick here. Uh, really nice, what I call sexy grass here. I love it, it's just beautiful. Um, this is another area that stays kind of wet, but I did have this area here, if you pull up my older videos, this part was actually bare all over right here. Um, totally could not grow grass during the spring, did not want to work it. Um, I used a garden weasel, I seeded, I watered, and it would not pop up during the spring, but it's already taken off with peat seed and with that RGS spray, the Tenacity spray, with the uh, starter fur and with Melorganite, it's coming up here, and we do have a little bit of whitening from the Tenacity here, but there is some bare spots that we'll have to watch. It's not growing as fast, um, but overall, the berm, I've been watching our berm over here, um, it's kind of thin sort of but it's just slower but this area it really jumped up quickly um so yeah we definitely want to see that pop up a little more and i like to see a little more over here on this hill um but we'll see again I'm, it may be something i have to rework i don't know exactly what i want to do there but it's looking good i can't complain it's looking really good and i'll see if i can get the side yard over here this was the existing lawn all of this in the backyard was obviously killed off if you watch any of my previous videos um, so this is all brand new grass where over here on the side yard was all existing we did not kill off and you can kind of see the line right here where i stopped and killed everything you know back this way um, so this was all existing and it's uh, nice and fertilized and new grass coming in as well so real quick i'll jump around to the front yard we'll take a look at that and we'll call that a video all right so we're back in the the side yard again we was just over here looking now we're in my driveway so Again, not perfect. We still got some crap weeds here that are dying out, summer weeds, crabgrass. Um, so not perfect at all in any <laughs> stretch of the imagination, but much improved already. As you can see in this wild Bermuda that's going on around these areas, if you, you know come in a little bit closer, you can see the fescue is actually starting to come up right on top of it. As the Bermuda dies, the fescue is coming in where I've overseeded right here. So I'm really, actually really proud of this section. It was terrible looking. Um, if you go back and watch some of the previous videos I posted, it looked terrible. Um, it looks a lot better now. It's much improved. And obviously the spring with these uh, fescue getting better roots, it's gonna look a lot better. So over here on the berm, um, is a lot of wild Bermuda. And again, same thing, you know, you've got some fescue starting to come up on top of that, uh, on this uh, wild Bermuda as it starts to die out, the cooler weather, um, you know, obviously starting to fade away the wild Bermuda, it'll start to brown up and wither away and the overseeding of the fescue is starting to come up better. So this section here, you know, existing fescue is obviously tall. It's sprung up with all this rain we got today. So it's looking really good. And if we come up here to where our meter box is and this little strip that we is on our property, all of this I killed off and all of this up to my mailbox I killed off. So it's coming in real nice. This area I'm not too happy about, but if we look up here, you know, it's obviously starting to grow in real nice. So again, beautiful peat seed, um, looking great. 
and been watering it every day for two weeks and it's paying off and we finally got some rain where I don't have to use city water. So this section is looking real well. It was completely bare and this section got a whole lot of the peat moss that I told you guys about. So the peat moss has definitely been holding in that moisture and, uh, and definitely it's coming in. It's looking good. And again, like I said, the last video spraying the RGS, the root growth supplement from the next product from Green County definitely made it shoot up and just watering it's made a big difference so now we can look real quick at the front yard all right so as i've mentioned in other videos the berm here this is obviously a ditch line i don't know if it's hard to see here but there's a ditch line here this berm has always just had crap on it and it still has some wild bermuda but here you know we this was bare and it's getting some fescue in so it looks great um, right now it looks really good it's fertilized like i was talking about um, so this was all existing grass. It's, uh, it, you know, overseeding it. It's looking pretty good, but actually the backyard to me is looking better because obviously it's all brand new GCI grass. This is all the existing lawn that wasn't killed off, but it's still looking healthy. It's looking good. It's greened up from the malorganite. So that's always a good thing. There's still some bare spots, but if I'm, while I'm walking around, you know, I'm noticing a lot of these bare spots out here are, does have fescue coming up. So that's great to see. The only spot in my front yard that I actually killed off completely was right here, if you recall, right down here and up here. So all of this is new grass. It's coming in nicely. It's looking good. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, this white tipped um, cross, cross germination of crabgrass and fescue is what this is and that's why it's showing as white. So again, if you see the weird looking octopus shaped um, you know, base of this weed as you see there, um, my cousin helped me out and he's a landscaper and was telling me that's a cross germination of crabgrass and fescue so that's why it's an odd looking type of weed um, but this section i'm real glad to see coming in good um, it's not quite caught up to um, what the you know the, the big healthy grass obviously behind it right here looks like but it we're getting some more growth and that makes me happy it makes me smile so all the hard work is definitely paid off and we've got a improved yard as of right now it's already improved from what i was looking at last february which is awesome and it's only going to get better with some more fertilizer and uh with some time so there we go all right guys and that will do it i uh, again i just appreciate you stopping by thank you to all you guys that have subscribed i saw someone subscribe today at work so uh i didn't get to catch the name but i very much appreciate you uh and i hope you enjoy the videos i hope it helps someone else out there looking to improve their lawn again um, i'm in central north carolina and there's still time right now if you've not done your yard um, you can do it go back you can see the first video i posted prior to this one um, it tells you everything that i did which looks to be successful and everything that i'm seeing um, again there can be improvement um, there may be some areas that we need to go back and rework again but overall i'm very happy with uh, um, what i've done and uh, with the work that i've put in i'm seeing results um, this is the first time in this yard that i've ever done this um, in the fall time um, and, and done it properly as I have read to do it and I'm seeing results already. So I'm anxious to get the carbon X fertilizer down in the soil. I'm anxious to see what that looks like, but um, building up the fertilizer and the nitro, uh, excuse me, building up the nitrogen into the, um, in the grass as much as I can for the winter. And next spring, we should see a very beautiful lawn. So real excited about that. So thank you guys again for stopping by. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Hope you will subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to take you along and you can see the do's and don'ts of what I do in my yard. Um, and I just thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.